What's up, guys? Hope everyone had a good weekend. It's a beautiful Monday here. Man, it's like 60, 65 out right now. It's gorgeous, crazy for this time of year. But um, I figured I'd um go over defrost terminations and fan delays, guys. I've gotten questions on those as well, and these can be very confusing. I'll admit sometimes they still even confuse me, and it took me it took me a while to understand them. So let's get into it. Two types that you will see in evaporators. Most of them have these clicks on types that are in there. They're a three wire setup. Um, and you can see that it opens at 55 degrees, closes at 35. All right. So that means when it's on defrost, if it gets up to 55 degrees, this is going to open um, and cut off the power to your heaters. So your coil won't get too hot. And as refrigeration comes back on, when your coil gets down to 35 degrees, it will turn your fans on. Um, this one is the same principle. You got your temp sensor here. This one mounts in your coil, just mounts up flush like that and senses the, the temperature on the sides inside your evaporator. This one is adjustable. You can see this one was like at 60 right now with a 35 differential. I changed this out the other day. The calibration's off on this. It wasn't working right and the customer wanted a new one. So I put a new one in. But if you look on your wiring diagram here, I'm in my heat crap book again. Um, it's really, I got it all laid out for you. These are the wires on your defrost termination fan delay. Right there. And if not, they'll be pre-wired in there with one of these that hook up to these terminals. But your brown's going to be your X. Red's going to be your N. And black is going to be your fans. So when this thing runs, say it's on defrost. Say we have a half an hour defrost cycle, 30 minutes. And this thing reaches 55 degrees, this co coil temp and the sensor in here, this is going to cut it out early from defrost. It's going to go over and trip the X wire, which goes up and pushes up that plunger on your clock, and then sends us back into refrigeration mode. Okay? And as it cools down, these wires here, your red and your black, your end coming off here, this is going to close. It's going to send one of your legs through your fans all the way through your fans it jumps over to four which four is our fans in refrigeration mode but not till this closes otherwise it'll be open until it reaches 35 degrees 30 degrees what have you so and really the way to diagnose these you can ohm them out you know i found plenty bad over the years you can ohm them out between red and black and everything and if you're really cold in there and you're frozen and this is open between the red and black chances are this control is going to be bad if you didn't have one on you and you needed to get by in a pinch you could try wire nutting the red and black together but if this is open it's not going to work what i would usually do is i would eliminate this i would take a jumper wire and go from n to f your fans won't delay after a defrost but it can get you out of a jam if you need it you know say overnight in an emergency situation and this is it i've gone over the clock with you guys before um in one of my other videos um and you can find this book all these diagrams online i just looked them up to make sure they're all there you know and there's just your control loop again you know your thermostat and your solenoid it's really all it is they can get confusing guys i've had issues with them before but you know once you get the gist of it it's pretty simple and the same thing you can have a heater limit in here too which would look like this <clears throat> but it would be a um red i mean yellow and a white wire just a two wire that comes down here from your 3d h1 in between your heaters so say this didn't work and the coil got too hot i think those are set at like 80 85 something like that i could be mistaken though that would open up here and cut out the power to your heaters so you're not getting way too hot inside your coil there so it's really it guys this one works the same way you know it's got the little how to wire it in here two and three are what close on rise you know two and one are open on rise and you'll have your x wire they'll still be brown red and black you know and these usually come in pre-wired um from the factory in the in the evaporator if they're ordered that way or made that way so that's really it guys just wanted to give you a short one on that so there's another one guys short and sweet you know i figured i'd go over that explain a little bit 
you know, if you also if you have a multiple multiple evaporators in a system, you got two, three, four, you know, on the same system. Each one of those evaporators is going to have their own defrost termination and fan control in it as well. It's not just one; they all have it. You know, so hopefully that explains some things. I know they can get confusing sometimes to diagnose and stuff. If you got any questions, just mention them down in the comments. I really appreciate it, guys. And you know, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I see a lot of people still 65, 70 percent of you watch, but they don't subscribe. So if you feel like it and you like what you see, uh, hit that button and hit the bell, guys, so you know right when I put a video up. All right. Hope everyone has a good week at work, and I'll catch you on the next one, boys.